Hello YouTube pedal people. Um, so we're looking at the Jetta Indigo Fuzz. As you might know from other videos, I'm not the biggest fuzz guy, so anything I say wrong, I do wrong, any examples I play that might not be typical fuzz material, please excuse me, I'm new to the world of fuzzes, but the Jetta Indigo is uh, making it very easy to find a new friend, which is me. So, uh, we're gonna go straight into the video. Uh, I'm going to use a couple different guitars and even a bass, because I found out by accident that this thing is actually pretty good on, on bass to give you just a little bit of an overdriven tube sound. What do I know? It works! So, we are having the PRS Swamp Ash Special with narrow fields, very, very thick sounding single coils. Um, not a strat at all. We're gonna use a strat as well and a bass. Um, going into the La Boga Alligator 50 on clean, which will sound like so. Okay, um, going into the basement where you will find a speaker that is actually the speaker part of the Fender Hot Rod 50 combo. And I separated the two so I can use a speaker by itself. It's in an isolation box, mic with a Sennheiser E606 microphone, kind of an SM57 type sound. It's just a little bit more convenient because it's got a razor shape. Um, and that's going into Universal Audio 710D preamp, which is set all the way to solid state, so there's no tube coloration. Um, everything you need to know right there for you. So, um, I'm gonna go to nine o'clock. So according to the website, this is a germanium fuzz. Apparently there's silicone and germanium fuzzes. They sound different. I was corrected on one video because I don't know what GE and SI stands for. Silicone and germanium. Now, uh, Brad pointed out on the website, um, please read the, uh, the text under the video because it's the uh, text from the website. I copied it there. Or oh, I will copy it there. I will have copied it. I will have copied it there. By the time you see this, it's the future past. You figure that out. Um, he said there aren't any good uh, germanium transistors anymore, new all stock stuff, uh, hard to find, and they're not very reliable. So it has, apparently, it has the sound of a germanium fuzz, but it isn't fully one. Something like that. I don't give a flying rat's ass as long as it sounds good, and it sounds good. So we're gonna go and give it a little bit again. On the flipper switch, which doesn't actually have a uh, labeling, when you go down it gets more compressed and it gets fuzzier, but only really in higher settings, because this thing packs the fuzz punch only when it's all the way up, like most fuzzes would. So this is actually a nice overdrive sound, it definitely has the fuzzly kind of peach fuzz on your weenie sound, um, but you can use it as an overdrive pedal without a problem, it just has a different character. Very nice. Now, on all the Jetta pedals, what I love is the tone, or in some called the lean rich knob, uh, is usable all the way to adjust to your amp. If it's bright, go to the left. If it's a little bit duller, go more to the right. But it's not if it's as if it's ever uh, way too much, and you can only use a, a tiny portion of uh, the whole way of the of, of the uh, the knob. It's actually working all the way. Let me show you. can really pick a tiny dose of what you need, it's very, very sensitive. Okay. 
So we are cranking up the game. That much dirt and that much grip that all the notes are actually still there on the A7. Let's try A7-9. All there but gritty and dirty. Nice! So we're gonna crank it. Let's try the flippy switch. Do you notice? Distortion, distortion, overdrive, overdrive, and then fuzz! gets more compressed and very dirty. You hear that fuzzy high end that comes out? Switching to the strat. Fender Strat Plus, Nordstrand pickups, uh, Quenzel Custom Electronics in it. It's a strat. It's a decent strat.
Very, very nice. Gonna go straight into the bass. And yes, you can play this like a fuzz. You can actually really, you know, crank it up. Let's see where we are. You know. Here we go. That's not what I want to show you. Uh, of course, any of us can do this. I'm actually going to go way down on the gain, way down. And you have this kind of mpeg -y, tube driven tone. So without... Do I have to say that, that this is true bypass? I didn't say this on any of the other Jetta video... Pe uh, uh, Je Jetta pedal, Peta, Jepa... Too bad. that but it's it's a nice overdriven sound so if you want to give it a little bit of grit okay folks here comes a little track I wrote earlier um, using a couple of rhythm parts and a uh, eh, solo um, you can find this track also as a separate video without the solo parts as a play along in uh, D Dorian so um, enjoy and uh, play along to all the rhythm parts uh, recorded with the Jetta Indigo. See you after the track.
Did you like that? I had fun doing it. I'm putting way too much work into these videos because this track was seriously only written to show you the, the Jedi Indigo. Um, it's a nice pedal, it's a, it's a very cool fuzz, but it, it doesn't have to be super aggressive. It, I don't like the face melter fuzz. It's a cool gimmick, but it's not really usable. Um, the Indigo runs, I think, a little bit over 200, 200 euro. Um, is that pricey? Well, it's a handmade pedal made in the US. Um, finest components and it does its job incredibly well so if you are in the market for a good fuzz this could be it okay um any, anything else that, that i can add how about you add stuff how about you write things and say hey you forgot to do this and you know that way we can all kind of get the information together and be a little youtube community yeah. i'll get it that sound okay jedi indigo fuzz buy it